Hi everyone, this is Tom Kraz. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at sharing some files using Nginx and Docker. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing we need to do is install some packages. So um, let's just update the system first, make sure we're all up to date with the repos. Shouldn't take too long. This is a Docker image. Oh, sorry, this is a, a Vagrant image. It's probably a little bit out of date. Uh, could take a few minutes, so bear with me. Yeah, speed this section up. Okay, right, so let's do uh, install docker.io. You can also take a look at my blog. I have all the details over there and all the commands. Docker.io should install quite quickly. This will create all, install all the Docker packages and create some users and groups, which we can take advantage of later on. Okay, also it'll restart the Docker service. Uh, one of the things to note here is that we will not be able to use Docker, but we will fix that. Okay, so let's take a look at installing our Python pip package. So we're going to use Docker Compose here and that's installed via pip. So one thing to note is after we install Docker Compose, it won't be in our path. Uh, we need to fix that as well. That's also documented over my blog. So let's do a pip install docker compose. Okay, that was quick enough. And let's go over uh, to my blog and just copy this. So we're in the bash RC file, we're just going to put in the path for the docker compose. So that when we log in, we get access to docker compose in our path. And we'll also make sure that the user, in this case is a Vagrant user, but it is added to the Docker group. This will allow the user to access all the Docker commands. Uh, after that's done, then we have to um, set up our Compose folder, but I think we'll just reboot our server first. Right, server's rebooted, we're back. Uh, let's create a directory where we can create all of our files. Okay, so first we'll copy the contents of the nginx config file. Please note that the auto index on is the important section here. Usually it's this section points to the index file, but in our case we're going to do an auto index of the directory. So let's make a directory file share, cd into it, um, vi default.conf, which is the default configuration file for nginx. Let's paste in our contents, verify everything's there, looks good, okay. Now let's take a doc. Let's make a Docker Compose file, and we'll go back to the blog and we'll just copy the contents of the Docker Compose file, paste it in. Um, the NFS here in this case, I'm just going to change it to a directory called data. Well, please change this to whatever you want. It's important that um, it's a real directory and its permissions allow the Docker user to access it. You can also change the port. So it's port 80 to port 80. So inside the container it's port 80, outside the container it's port 80, but you can change that to whatever you want. Sometimes some people use 8080. So let's make a directory called data. Let's make a directory called data deep. Let's make some temporary files, test one. Let's just echo some hi into another file. Deep. Okay, test two. Someday I will actually do some typing lessons and I'll get better at this stuff, but not today. So let's try Docker Compose. Let's pull the image. So this is pulling the Alpine uh, Docker, or sorry, the, the Alpine image that we're using here for Nginx. Uh, Docker Compose up. So this starts it up. So whatever IP address your system is running on, you should be able to browse to it. But in my case, I'm just going to type in localhost. And dingo, there you go, temporary file server. I mean, it's not perfect. It's very unsecure, but if you're stuck like I was in the last few days, something like this can be invaluable. So keep a repository of Docker Compose files and keep this inside it. 
Okay, so uh, let's make sure we kill lock the Docker Compose image. We delete it by Docker Compose down, and we're done. My name is Tom Graz. Thank you guys all for joining, and I will see you next time.